I'll take suggestions from anybody. What do you think, Sharon? What do you think? Is that Marsha? Well, I also use... Um, oh, go ahead, Marsha. <laughs> well, no, I was just going to say, just don't set them. Why the heck do you need a New Year's resolution? I don't need one. I just keep going. That's it. It doesn't matter if I don't get everything done. So what? Big deal. There's tomorrow. Stay in the present. Just stay in the present. And you'll get done what you want to get done. I don't do New Year's resolutions. I never have because it seems like if you blow your New Year's resolution, then what? Are you going to get back up? Are you going to Are you going to feel like, oh, I, I, I'm just not keeping up, and then you're going to let all this doubt, guilt, shame, and worry come in? Forget that. I don't do them. I just don't do them. I set goals. I'll set goals, but uh, I don't have a time limit on the goal either. And I find that that works a heck of a lot better because I'm always staying in the present time because of that. And what up? It looked like you were going to say something there, but I wasn't sure. I was thinking about it, but I'm trying to think my my process through a minute because <laughs> I I get the idea I I get the idea of being in the present and and setting goals, but at the same time, you know, and maybe this is because of the accountant in me, you know, having to know because I deal with like you know goals and you know, benchmarks and, you know, areas of break even and, you know, whether you're above or below the line. So that's part of where my brain comes from and works. Um, and that's why I think I wrestle with, you know, when people say, well, just stay in the present. But if I'm in the present, you know, how do I go ahead and move for the towards the future? By just staying in the present. That's every action, every action that you're taking in the present is moving you towards the future. I mean, just view it in that point of view. I think, and that that really helped me because the minute I started uh, setting all these New Year's resolutions, and of course, it seems like most people that set New Year's resolutions or any kind of resolutions will tend to fail just because they are so, it becomes an obsession. And then when that obsession doesn't work out, then all of a sudden you're starting to doubt yourself. And if, if, if you don't set the resolution, then you don't have anything to doubt in yourself. So I say don't set a resolution. Forget the resolution. Just make goals and don't even have a time frame. You can put a kind of a time frame for it if it's, you know, something you have to do. But I find that for me it works so much nicer because I don't have that resolution that says, oh, I have to do this. And because I don't have to do this, then I'm, I'm spending more time in a joyful presence because I don't put that resolution which uh, creates doubt or shame or guilt or worry. And it just works out better. <laughs> okay, I, I get what you're saying because I've never really done New Year's resol resolutions myself. I've never, you know, I've seen too many people, you know, do what we're all talking about. You get started and you, you know, they burn out or they fade off or whatever. But in what you just said in setting, you know, and I, I'm looking at more maybe time frames, maybe not necessarily that it has to be done tomorrow, but a certain a bunch of your goals or your where you want to get to are you saying more like maybe a month goal or a month or two month goal or three month goal and then working towards that is that kind of what you're putting well, it as let me ask you something are you doing are you doing things that you like doing or are you doing things just because you feel that that's what's going to move you towards your success and you don't really enjoy doing it 
I think that's part of, of okay. what what takes place is if I, I'm not, I don't want to, if I don't like what I'm doing, then I'm just not going to do it and I'll find another way around it. <laughs> well, I will Marsh, find another way around it. Marsha, I think it's important to point out that loving what you do is part of what makes it happen because that's the joyful energy you're feeling from the experience of doing it. That's the positive energy that it fills you with. And more positivity creates more positivity and manifests your goals quicker if you love what you're doing. If you don't love what you're doing, you're going against the laws of the universe. That's what I've come to learn in my experience. I think that's, that's partly true. You do have to enjoy it because that's the experience you're putting yourself into. You know, if it's something that you don't really enjoy doing, then why even force your, why put yourself in, into force mode to get something done that you don't enjoy doing? I, for me, that's like, uh, th that just is going to make, make the whole experience miserable. You already know that from the start <laughs> because you don't enjoy it. So I, I tend to do things that only things that I enjoy doing and I stay focused and that's it that's as long as I stay focused I seem to get further with my pursuit of of uh, goals I agree <clears throat> I agree 100 percent with Marcia Somebody else want to talk? Kareem, are you there? I'm here. I guess listening to that perspective, because it's not so much about a New Year's goal as it's about really having that feeling of what I want to do. I'm not saying don't or do set a new resolution. Do whatever you want. But at the end of the day, what is that driving force? If you can catch into that, it'll be all right. What were you thinking, Dan? You look like you want to say something. No, I'm just, I'm just kind of really thinking and putting things through in my head because there are things I love to do. Like I do love to do video blogs. I do love doing, but because of, and maybe it may be part of this is where I've been in just such a down. It's been hard for me to get myself back up to where I want to go, get to, to where, because in essence, a lot of the blogs I did on my personal site as well, uh, that I still have on my one with the company I'm um, been, well, been a part of. I'm just now using some of their stuff. I'm not affiliated with them right now. Um, but when I was, I did a lot of blog posts, and then on my own, I told you about this before, that I, um, I had to reset up my personal website, and I'm having to kind of rebuild it again, and that I did not enjoy the first time around, and the fact that they didn't have my information still there for me to be able to pull it back up when I renewed, I'm having to rebuild it again. So that's been my roadblock, is like getting in and starting and so once I get it there, the blogging I think would come, and I would be, get back into my, you know, and stuff like that. So I think that's part of where I'm at is because I know I got to get through this one bad area because um, I know I can do it, and I've done it before. It's just I'm not crazy about it, but I don't have money to pay somebody else to do it or something like that. And it's just I've got to get it done. Once I get it done, then the blogging and all those things will return and I'll get back into where I was. So that's where I think in some instances and that's my roadblock and that's part of where I'm like because I know I want to get here but sometimes I think that's where we shoot ourselves in the foot for anybody who, you know, there's, you know, they know there's that one big thing, that one big you know, thing that's in their way to getting them to where they want to be, but yet getting that started sometimes is harder than, and I think that's just my mind process, just getting in there and just doing it and really just forcing myself to do it. 
Okay. 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 Okay.